One, two, you already know what it is. It's your man, S K Y Z O O, Sky Zoo, live out the borough. We had A Life, L E S. What separates A Life from a lot of the others is. One, the ambiance, you know what I'm saying? When you look at it, you look at the way the store is built, you know, you, you would think you was in the Louis store or something like that. And it's pretty much the combination of two worlds where you have the sneaker culture, which is, you know, gritty, outside, New York, you know, concrete, at least in my opinion, what sneaker culture represents. It's the kids who literally wear sneakers every single day. Hi, my name is Sky Zoo. I'm a sneaker addict. Sneakerhead is the person who is on top of the culture, knows the sneakers, know when things are coming out, why certain things got retro or reintroduced or things of that nature. Like, you gotta know the history. My crib is like a sneaker store. Like, literally, like, closets are loaded and then there's no more room. So then there's joints in front of the closet and then there's joints to the left of the TV and to the right of the TV. And I've had people, I mean, I've had girls come through and be like, yo, why do you have so many sneakers in your house? Like, you know, I've had girls trip over sneaker boxes because it's just that serious in the crib. That's like family, like those guys, is family, the Jordan team and all that looks at me as somebody that they roll with. Uh, my favorite Jordans are between three and I want to say 14, 15. But my favorite one is the eights because of the story, you know, with me not being able to get them as a kid. 13s as well though. The 13s are probably the dopest to rock as far as how they go with anything and everything. And then probably the fours, like the fours go with any and everything as well. I got, I got a good amount of dunks. I got a crazy pair of uh, the Japanese beer can dunks. The, the burgundy joints with the black and gold. I got those in Boston. I got a crazy pair of dunks, a uh, black, royal blue, and like an off-white or like an egg white cream that I'm really, really, really fond of. The way I keep my sneakers clean, it's a couple ways. Um, everybody has a technique, but what I found, I was in Minnesota for a show earlier this year. And there's a store out there called Studio 23. The dude who owns it is a Jordan head. He tells me, yo, my mans from over here in Minnesota have this company called Sneaker Wipes. It gets any sneaker clean with any stain, scuff, mark, anything. Like, nothing stands a chance. I think I was in fifth grade. My pops got me a pair of these Hirachis, and they were white with orange, yellow, and purple, and a little bit of red. And it was amazing, but as a kid, I didn't appreciate them. So I remember going to the sneaker store, it was right on Flatbush, it was uh, King's, King Sneakers, they still there too on Flatbush. Um, we went to the sneaker store. I remember seeing all these other sneakers that I really wanted, and my pops was like, nah, we're gonna get you these. And I didn't want them. I was like, I don't like those, and I kind of threw a fit as like a nine, 10 year old kid, so I didn't want them. And I remember the first day going to school and just how much better they looked than everybody else's sneakers. And I was like, wow, like shout to Pops. So shout out to my Pops for making that executive decision. Jordan 8s, obviously like I said, the black with the aqua and the purple, hands down. Jordan 13s, you know, the white and blue flint joints, um, hands down, the 13s. Definitely foams, all the foam posits, you know, the, the pros and the ones, you know, Penny was strictly doing without the big check on the side. Definitely the Air Max Penny. Uh, everybody knows I'm a huge Penny Hardaway fan. The original joints where it was the black with the white side and the blue gel check and the blue bubble and the, the pinstripe tongue and you could pull it, put your finger through and pull it. One, two, one, two, you know what it is. Your man, S-K-Y-Z-O-O, -O, Sky Zoo, live from the borough. This has been Confessions of a Sneaker Addict. Shout out to my man, Fred Beer, I keeps it100.com. Shout out to A-Life for holding us down in here. This is Jesse from A-Life, New York City, chilling with Sky Zoo, 2011. Thank you.